I realize I have to explain myself uh, it's just to explain why I'm saying it's a 2008 financial crisis that money that's probably in there. Uh, first of all, Canada did have a bailout. A uh, study reveals secret ca Canadian bank bailout. Throughout the 2008-2010 crisis, banks were touted by the federal government, the banks themselves, as being much more stable than other countries' banks. They assured Canadians we needed no ba bailout. However, there were a bunch of bailouts. The study reveals they received 100 billion, 114 billion in cash and loan estimates. So, how much? Huh. I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure. I have a hunch. Even though it's probably never going to be connected. Well, let's just take that, take a look at the uh, website here for explaining to us the Canadian Encyclopedia. Oh yeah, there was an auto sector bailout. I remember that. So, fresh in your memory, do you guys remember the auto auto industry bailout? North American auto sector was. In trouble 2008, even before 2008, Chrysler, GM, said it was too big to fail. Yikes, even before the housing. How can auto be too big, big to fail? Auto should have failed a long time ago. Remember in 1999, there was who killed the electric car? They killed the electric car and in, 2000, in, in 1999. And then in 2008, oh my god. It's just like a terrible, and this is like on top of like Teflon and microplastics and all the other terrible chemicals that are, <sighs> that are found to be true. Factors contributing to recovery. Sorry, I'm just uh, going off the deep end with regards to um, turning point and recovery. So because of the dollar difference there was like a better turning point. That's what it talks about. So recovery was slower in the United States and in Europe, and sluggish growth of the world economy acted as a drag on Canadians after 2011. The Bank of Canada and other central banks were obliged to maintain their policy interest rates at low levels as inflation remained weak. It was not until 2017, almost 10 years after the United States moved into recession, that Canada and the U.S began to return to pre-crisis monetary policy sta stances. Huh? And then like, so there was like three years of being okay, and then it was like COVID. Damn. It's, what a generation, we're the great generation, everyone. 